back to another video on my channel featuring the arch. Today's photo shoot is with a photographer. We are going to an outdoor location and we're just going to have fun with the arch and I think it will be really cool. But first things first, we got to pick out an outfit. Now, if you didn't already know, I got this arch from a neighbor. She made it for a party. She gave it away. I snagged it and I've just been using it for photo shoots and backdrops and fun stuff. It's lasted almost a week now, but I think today is going to be its last day because we're taking it out into the wilderness. But first, we gotta pick out an outfit. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but I'm thinking like earth tones and peaches and pinks, so let's see what I have in my closet. I'm really leaning towards wearing this brown crop top. I feel like it's a good match being a warm tone brown to go with the warm tones in the balloon arch and i'm considering layering that over top of this piece i feel like this would be a cute one to do to tie into the white of the balloons i'm also thinking of wearing these cream colored cargo pants because they are also a warm tone and i feel like a blue jean just wouldn't look good with this okay here is the combo Honestly, I love what's going on on top right now. I think it's really cute and playful, and I like the shape that it makes. I don't love these bottoms, though. I'm going to try and find something else that works better. Let's weigh some options. Black jeans? No. Khaki skirt? No. Green pants? No. Brown skirt with flowers? Not the same tones of brown. This is warm tone, this is cool tone. Maybe if I just go all the way brown. In a moment. Black dress pants. Nope. No. I need something as playful and fun as the top and the balloons. Neapolitan, for example. The pinks match. Nothing else does. Dare I say, it's getting worse. And now I'm just getting desperate. We might have to go to the thrift store. Alright, I've got about an hour in which I can go to the thrift store to try and find something that works. So we're going to go as quickly as we can. It's going to be tight. Let's go. Unfortunately, the thrift store had nothing for me today. I found a bunch of things to try on, but nothing fit right or looked right, so I left empty-handed. I feel like I end up in the same place every time I have a photo shoot lately where... I just end up in a really big rush to get ready, which didn't used to happen, and I'm not a fan of it. Especially because I feel like the cause is something that literally nothing can be done about. I don't have bad time management skills, I have really great time management skills. I just honestly do so much. First off, I have two kids, which explains why. I'm doing my morning skincare routine at 5.30 p.m. Lately, the list of things that I have to do, like I have to, like adulting responsibilities, has been getting more and more. And I've just been running out of time for things I want to do. So I feel like my rushing is always related to the wants and needs being out of balance. But I'm not going to put off the needs and I'm not going to compromise on the wants. So. Here we are. Today, the hair inspo is bubble braids. I'm just going to do like bubble pigtail braids to kind of play into the shape of the balloons. I've kind of been on a streak here with doing creative hairstyles for photo shoots, which is really fun. Not very usable for portfolio, but you know, you gotta keep things interesting. Also, I've never done this hairstyle before. I don't have time to mess it up. Stakes are high to leave pieces out or to not leave pieces out. Okay, just baby ones today. The hair went super fast. Now I'm just gonna do very simple makeup. And the makeup's gonna be nothing crazy. I'm just gonna do kind of a brown smoky look with maybe a little bit of an edge to it. All right, hair and makeup are done. I'm changed. I ended up just wearing black pants and I'm gonna wear black boots with it. Let's go.
was fun also in case you were wondering so the photographer is andrew aka broad sprinkles and we worked together one time before at a group photo shoot that i did two years ago in april and i was looking for a photographer to shoot with with the balloons and so i just put a poll on my instagram to see who was available and he was the only one who responded I messaged him and we set this up and it went really well. Um, it took us a minute at first like to figure out what we wanted to do exactly because all I knew was like I want to shoot with the balloons, make it fun, make it edgy, use a prop that usually is not available to me. So we had to figure out where we wanted to shoot, if we wanted backlit or direct light, if we wanted the mountains in the background or keep it simple and so what we ended up doing was just sitting in some grass and then doing mostly close-up photos, keeping it mostly focused on me and the balloons and not really any background. And I think the hair and makeup turned out so good. Honestly, I was worried that my eyebrows were too thick, but I think they look fine. I'm having so much fun with these hairstyles right now, and I feel like when I do my hair up like this, it makes my nose look rounder, which is really cute. And the outfit turned out just fine, even though I wasn't able to find the type of bottoms that I really was trying to find. But that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked the photos. Please leave a comment down below what your thoughts are if you enjoy watching photo shoot vlogs, or if there's any suggestions you have of what else I could include in the photo shoot vlogs. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!